Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Eosheen LAL5, the new sort of premium edition from Eosheen. Let's have a look, get it on the bench and have a look and see what we think. Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Call Scare C. Today we're going to have a look at this. This is the Eosheen LAL5. Uh, it's a 5 inch freestyle with a 4K camera. So it's got the Tarsier camera in. So let's just have a look at what you're getting, what the spec is. So it's 225mm. These are 5mm thick arms. It comes with an F4 flight controller, a 50 amp PSC with the shortest motor wise I think I've ever seen in my life they're really short uh, so eventually what I plan to do when they still fly it see how it flies I'm probably going to take these motors off because I'm going to put these on a 7 inch build because these are 2507 so no matter, regardless of how these go these are going to just rip your batteries a bit so they're going to take they're going to suck power out your battery with them so let's we'll probably take them off but I'm going to review it out of the box and I'll probably put them onto a 7 inch build and put some Maybe some fly wound ins on here, some more appropriate size. But it does look amazing. This thing truly does look amazing. So back to the specs, it's got an 800 milliwatt BTX. It's the Eosheen, let me check. Can't remember what the flight controller is. Um, sorry, what the BTX is. Yeah, it's a TX805 and it's a half board one. I'm not keen on these half board VTX. As you can see, the VTX only comes halfway. And the frame itself is really nice. It's top battery mount, but you can put it on battery, a bottom battery mount by putting the strap on here. But these look really thin. I can't see them taking too much of grief, to be honest. And of course, you've got the Tarsier. So you've got the 4K Tarsier camera. This is what your twin board is at the back here. Uh, and it's really nicely fi finished, to be fair. The, the, the finishing quality are really nice. The camera should be excellent because they always are on these, these Tarsiers. I like them. I don't particularly like them in 4K. I film in 2.760 and I think you get a far better result than you do in 4K. I'm not sure the 4K is really meant for these type of quads. You've got the antenna mounted on the back in this TPU mount here, which is really nicely finished off, and you've got a place to bring your receiver out. This does not come with a receiver. It comes with a cable here to uh, plug in, or I'll be cutting that and soldering my receiver in. But there's enough room, as you can see, to put your receiver. I'm gonna put a stick mine up there somewhere. I'm gonna put an XM Plus on this. This really is first look of this thing out of the box. So one of the things that I really like about this, this has Bluetooth enabled flight controller. So let's let me show you that. So let's connect it up to any old battery. This is one that I use for my goggles here. So let's just plug this 3S in. So if you've got this, you can set this up virtually on your phone. So you've got an app, an app called the Speedy B app. You've probably all seen this before, but this is a Speedy B app. It's just fun. it's just gonna find it. Tap to start scanning. T C M L B E is it? It's gonna find it on Bluetooth. So this connects Bluetooth, it's not Wi-Fi, it's connecting over Bluetooth and it is a bit laggy, but you're not really bothered because the idea is you can just do these changes at the field or you can do these changes here. So you can see there is lag look. So if you watch a quad move. But regardless of that, that doesn't really matter because you've got all your settings on here. So you can set your ports up, your configuration. You just have to wait for it to load, and it takes a few seconds. It's not the perfect um, situation, but it does work well. I'm prepared to let it. You'd still rather have that than having to take a um, bring your laptop with you if you want to adjust things. You get power and battery. Your fail safe can be set on this and any pids, which is obviously what you'd normally use it for. If you want to do some fine adjusting of the pids, this is your place to adjust them. I think this is great. I think this is the these are fantastic. And I want to say for a budget drone, it's great to have it. But if it may have a sheet wrote on it, I'm, I don't know who's made it. Obviously, it didn't then, certainly, because obviously they just rebrand things. But when I say cheap, it's 180 quid. So is it cheap? It must put, it's not bad considering you get. If you look at the Cadix Tassier, you probably. And this is a V2, by the way. Sorry, I should have mentioned. This is the Cadix Tassier V2. So to get the V2 on here as well for your price. You're probably looking, you're looking at a 70 to 80 quid camera. You paid 100 quid for the drone without a camera. Probably not that bad, is it, really? 
Look, well, let's see what it flies like, obviously. I have seen the video for this before and it does seem to fly okay. As I say, the main thing for me is I love this. I love the fact it's got a Tarsier on the front of it. The disappointing thing is it has got pops into it, which is disappointing. Um, maybe you should have made this a little bit different, or a dead cat style instead of an X, but you have got props in shot, which again, like I say, I love this TPU camera mount, it really is nice, the way it's, it's really nice TPU print to be honest, oh, they've got TPU to print that nicely, I don't know, and obviously it does protect your camera, you've already got the capacitor on here as well, it, it, it's a decent thing for the money and it seems to be a cut above what he or she normally bring out, obviously the proof's going to be in the pudding, what does it fly, so in the box you get this, the drone itself, the quad itself actually, you get it's quite nicely boxed um, for an Eashin product as well. I've got a downer on Eashin, but everything I've tested of Eashin quad wise recently hasn't been good, so that's obviously why I'm not that hopeful of it being great. So it comes with some Eashin stickers, very nice. Two sets of 5 or 40, I believe, Dell Pros. They are down pros, I think, anyway, we looked at them, I'm sure that's what they said on them. Uh, not branded, bagged or anything. You get, if someone, well, I actually do think this is a key ring, but if someone could confirm down below, will I buy the 99, 79, the 119? They all came with these. So if someone does know, can you let me know, is it a key ring? You're supposed to put a key ring around there. I don't know. I'm guessing that's what it is. A couple of spanners, an ND filter. So this is the ND8 filter for the Tardier, which is great. Fantastic having that because the other bind and flies I've bought that have the Tardier fitted Which is the Gep RC and the iFlight one did not come with this so well done to Eshin for that You get another silicon plate there's one already mounted on it it's a very small silicon mount but you get one there's another one of them in there You get some screws and then the strangest thing in the world so this has left and right hand thread props which is nowadays unheard of really, everything just has normal nylocks on. They've gone for left and right handed pop nuts. They're still, are they nylock? I don't think, yeah they're nylock but why they've gone left and right hand I don't know. So you've got to obviously make sure you don't lose one of these. But I've got a lot of spares anyway. And you also get another battery strap. And some cable ties I'm putting the putting receiver on. And then this quite nice box, nice box it comes in. So they have actually, it does seem the quality wise of the packaging and everything else and what you get in the pack looks really good for your money. And it, it's not really premium, it's kind of hovering around that price. It's kind of mid price point to me. Because only because of the fact it's got this camera on it. If you didn't have this camera on and it was 100, 110 quid with a normal camera on, you'd probably think it was a decent quality, a decent price. So hence why I don't think it's about 180 quid. The motors feel nice enough. They look superb. The colours are fantastic. I love these TPU mounts on here. Um, great. I don't know. The colour scheme, I'm guessing, I don't know. I've seen another video someone's mentioned this and it, does, it is LA Lakers colours. Now, whether it is done for that, I don't know. Or that's just a total coincidence. And I'm presuming the 5 stands for 5 inch. So I wouldn't be surprised to see if they don't make a 3 and a 7 and a 6 in this. I wouldn't be surprised at all. So this is a, just a first look. So I'm going to get this bound up to my receiver, get it set up on beta flight. I'm going to take it out for flight and I'll have a full flight review video coming. And I'll have, I'm going to probably put, I'll obviously have the footage from my goggles and that will be from the new Skyzone 030s that I've got. And also footage from the camera and Apple and GoPro on the top so we can see a comparison video of what it looks like. But first impression, really good. The frame feels nice, it's sturdy quite heavy for what it is the motors look superb and they do feel really nice i just think they're huge for what the size of the drone is so anyway enough of that thanks ever so much for watching and i'll have the flight video up as soon as possible have a great day thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up